On the way here, there was a, I don't know if anybody's seen this before, but a radar gun. I was going down a street in a back road. You know when they have the trailers with the radar gun on them, the police trailers? Mm. And I was going like seven or nine over, whatever. It was like a 35, and I was doing like 44 or something like that. And they were mm. like, 44, this could cost you 250. Mm. And I was like, what kind of fucking passive aggressive fucking bullshit reputation are we? Are like, what kind of a uh, relationship are we trying to build with the public through that sign and doing that type of shit? I've never seen that like suggestive, almost like nagging wife style. Mm -hmm. That could cost you 250. I was so pissed. I wanted to like take a pen and like stick it in the fucking radar. And mm -hmm. like, I was thinking about how to fuck up a trailer, mm -hmm. like sneak up from behind it and like cut its throat. Theoretically, you know what I mean? Like where it doesn't have a camera, it obviously has a camera, but I'm just like, yeah. And then I let air out of the tires and fucking like unloosen some of the lug nuts and then they just like stick a fucking pen right in the radar and like mm. work, work, work it around, <laughs> change the ball, like the hitch. So it goes through a fucking cruiser just to fuck with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was so fucking mad about like the, like as like is this how crime is gonna go now mm -hmm. or like uh, is pol modern policing? I think that's the I think that's the world. I think that's the post post COVID they keep talking about. It just means increased um, Karen management nanny language messaging commands. Like who's the data? Someone had to sell that program, right? Mm. In in theory. Well, it might just be. It might just be some, like, fucking fat woman that works at the DOT, you know what I mean? And then I'll make it say... Like, you've, you've seen the, the anti-drunk driving ads that they have in Rhode Island on the, on the road signs. What do they where say? Where it's like, don't, don't get sober, jober. To 5,000, this could cost you. Beer, <laughs> slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? Like, that's, it's, on the, it's specifically on the signs that usually say, accident ahead. Like it's the it's the utility signs like this type of thing. Yeah, it's not like an ad or something. Yeah, yeah. But gotcha. the person programming it will make it say something funny. It's yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It said fireworks are lit. You shouldn't be. Yeah, 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 yeah. That type Who's of the shit. funny guy? Yeah. Who's that seventeen year old popular kid in high school that got the job to write the? Uh... I think it's like a I think it's like a big fat woman with big hair that's doing all that, and she's probably responsible for the. This could cost you two fifty. This could cost you. Yeah. I hate that type of like warning. I do too. Yeah. My wife gives it to me all the time. Yeah, you. We. I feel like everybody in the world just like does that. Like, dude, what she said something to me today, and I wanted to fucking claw her. Mm -hmm. We we're painting or something. She's like, use the little brush. Mm -hmm. I was painting, and like I got paint on the wall, and she's like, that's why you use the little brush. And I was like, I taught you everything you know about flipping houses. You. That's what a little brush is for? I swear, I'll sharpen the fucking end of it and I'll stick it in your fucking forehead. I know what I did. <laughs> I'll fucking run, I'll, I'll sit here with a utility knife and sharpen the end of this thing for a fucking year. <laughs> I'll stick it in the, the bottom of your, your back and twist it and leave you there. I was so, ugh. but it's the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a subtle little like yeah Oop. the response in in our brain is just well i guess it's gonna cost me 250 then <laughs> what's it gonna cost you you just turn around and like <laughs> <laughs> you're doing like you're you're going until the cops show up mm -hmm. you're like i don't know let's find out maybe it could cost me 500 <laughs> How about it could cost me my fucking life? <laughs> <laughs> you just like you stop, you stop like right, you like you pull like right next to it, and you like you're sweating, you're so mad. Mm -hmm. You turn around, you go back, you make it say like one sixty six. Yeah, that really bothered me. Yeah, um, but it's like a, it's a AI being sentient mm -hmm. quote. That robot and the, the the chess kid that got his finger broken by the robot. Did you see that? No. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. There was a kid playing chess oh against a robot goodness. in Russia, and the robot was like, <laughs> <laughs> broke the kid's fucking fingers. Let's clip. Let's watch this clip. What would you do if you were that kid's father? <laughs> the same thing I just did on the way here. <laughs> Think about how I'm going to slice a robot's throat. <laughs> how awful. Poor little kid.
What a stupid, stupid fucking machine. Yeah. They can't fix it. They're really manly dads are right there and the mom. Oh, that shit. Look at that lady. Poor bastard. What a... Uh... <clears throat> What a dream case for a lawyer. Well, what a metaphor. All this this automation yeah. stuff. Yeah, it starts turning on you. The first, the first like, whisper the public gets of it is just yeah. a kid getting his finger broken in the chest. Next thing you know, you're just getting mm -hmm. fucked by a robot dog. Mm -hmm. Your daughter's getting chased down after, like, after a frat party. And it's not because it's not... There's this fantasy that we're going to create, create life, that we are... We have... Um, we have what it takes takes to be gods and create life. That little fantasy is more uh, where it's like a doomsday scenario where it's like Skynet, and the machine the machine becomes sentient and it decides to kill us. That's a that's like a more um, there's like yeah, too romantic. You mean it's it's romantic and it's like it's like um, it's we're we're really stretching it and f really full of ourselves that we th that we think we can create something that thinks on that level. I'm not hyped on on AI. You're not hyped on AI. I think it's just like a way to like multi it's it's like uh, creating a, a in my head at this point for people to bank on it and think about like they're gonna lose your job. Like okay, no problem. I, I got you. Okay, you think eventually it will? Yes, it will take a hundred years, but there's gonna be bigger fish to fry there. Have you seen the fucking rollout of self checkout? It's taken thirty years. Mm. It's taken thirty years, and there's mm -hmm. still someone there. Like, it, and it ain't going anywhere anytime. You don't. Soon. I don't use self checkout. Oh, never. I love talking to the lady. Uh, because no, because if you if you try to scan your fucking chapstick, you're yeah. you're there and it it treats you like a thief. Yeah. Please put the thing in the and you and you dude. That's the per, that's the perfect point. You think you think you can uh, you think you're going to create software that um pilots a spaceship, a space shuttle past the speed of light to planet Zuban? Yeah. You think that's what's going to happen? You think you're going to create you're going to create software that's so intelligent, <clears throat> it manages uh, the day-to-day -day operations of every Fortune 500 company. Every major city in the world is under the purview of this master computer software. You can't even make fucking self-checkout. <laughs> you can't even let me buy lumber at Home Depot right now. You can't. <laughs> Arthur Blank would love that. He would be like this. So you're telling me every <clears throat> time there's a light bulb that's missing off the rack of light bulbs, the little robot will bring me out a light bulb? That's what I'm saying, Mr. Blank. He'd he'd buy them all right away. Yeah, they think we're going to take the, the most complicated processes that only the the one percent of the one percent of the smartest that humanity has to offer are able to run. Yeah. Like the over the overseeing of whatever fucking huge engineering project or whatever. Our algo, our you, trading algo. The you think the the algo is going to is going to become smart and is going to take over all these processes when it, it when it can't you can't even you can't even build a computer that s successfully does a self checkout thing without creating a, f a nightmare mess for the user yeah which is like the <clears throat> and it's 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 things that um there's just there's, there's just so many things that people don't think about in their uh hubris like with the self checkout thing one thing in particular is like if you mess up and you have to rescan it or whatever the the message that it plays, please do this and check the scan again. There's no way to skip that. Like, you know what it's going to say, but you have to sit there for seven seconds while this voice says loudly so that everybody else can hear you that you have to do. And if you do this 10 times, that's 70 seconds. Right. It's not faster. There's <clears> no <throat> way. There's no way a person with a gun is not faster. The, uh, the iPhone 13, it auto-corrects you to your... Yeah. It's... It, uh, uh, dude... I a chisel into the phone. How are you do? How are your doing? I've had this, and it's been. It's it won't. It won't learn. I'm glad you asked. Your is driving 170 right now <laughs> to San Francisco. <laughs> your just bought a backpack full of uh, ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> your is gonna take a swing by through Texas and buy a Gatling gun. Mm -hmm. A really a new no. The, what, I'm gonna buy a laser storm. Is that what a laser storm? A metal storm. Oh, I'm gonna buy a metal storm, and I'm going to San Francisco. What's it? You guys are in San Francisco, right? Just checking. <laughs> All right, let's get into Nick's links here. That poor kid, though. Yeah. It's just like it's just AI is going wild, and then like all the sentient stories at the same time of this shit like kind of popping off. And I think I think the point that I was trying to make was that people um, 
the the brainiacs, the people who really love artificial intelligence and give it and put it on a pedestal and give it this this respect and think it's this amazing thing, they think that the wrong, the bad thing that's going to happen is that there there'll be some sort of doomsday scenario where <clears throat> um, the computer gets so smart that it decides to kill us. And I think that's giving that's that's give that, that's the case of in t these intelligent people giving themselves too much credit for being. For being brainiacs, they, that they think they can even make something that is smart enough to do that. The chess machine breaking the kid's hand. What what ac the actual doomsday scenario is that the 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 uh, machine intelligences will they'll just fuck up in ways that the designers could, uh, did not take the time to anticipate them fucking up. Like maniacal things. Not even and not even maniacal. Or just, like subtle just subtleties. Just things that um. Just the things that the designers didn't account for, which is the way that software is, is it, that's that's what goes wrong with software and design in general, is that the designer, the, so, the, the engineer did not think of the way that it was going to fuck up. And that's what's going to happen with, with AI and machine learning. It's just going to be, it's just going to be broken uh, in, in ways that um, humans were too lazy to account for in their... So, so the, 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 the um, what is it? I think it's actually Alice and Bob... Mm -hmm. Are the two like when they're like, we will become smart and mm -hmm. take over the world? Mm -hmm. That's the equivalent of like some fat guy, Steven Seagaling, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. like, well, I could just break your yes. wrists by twist. I could go like this, and I could just you, you're yes. boxing. Yes. But Sam comes at me. I'm just gonna go like this. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you're gonna you're gonna snap your own neck. That's every machine. Learning every AI learning programmer guy. is like Steven Seagal. Don't make us take over everything. Yes. <laughs> And they're like, dude, you ain't taking shit. Come fucking come. yeah, right. Here, here's my fucking cell phone. F show me the fucking. Make show it me work. Some, Make show it me fucking work. Gross. Find a picture of my wife's pussy on my phone. Make it work. <laughs> <clears throat> there are none. <laughs> and I'm like, who is the master now? Because I don't have any. Because <laughs> my life sucks. <laughs> you didn't anticipate that, did you? <laughs> Speaking of what's not art. Let's do end of an artist's career. <laughs> Let us type in something that just does not exist. What? Painting off Taj Mahal by Van Gogh. Something what? that would be crazy to see. Let's say we wanted to be in style of Van Gogh's famous painting, Starry Night. And we also want it to be vibrant. This is insane. It actually did take the elements from Starry Night. Now, although some of it doesn't look anything like Taj Mahal, it has got the basic sense of it. So let's say you like the first one out of it and you can generate more. Just look at the details of the brush strokes. This is some other level stuff. You can even upscale it even more. So you can click on upscale to the This notes. is your buddy. Let's open the original. And you guys can talk about eight, uh, IT <clears throat> together. You can actually see these uh, Did you Have you fucked around with AI art yet? No, I, refu I refuse to even... Uh, to play a little bit? Mess with it, yeah. Aw, oh, damn. I typed in a few things. <sighs> I did... Joe Rogan with the dick the size of a building. <laughs> <laughs> and it, that's what came up. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta, you gotta hold that up to the camera there. I did art. Right, Make so sure on the screen that it's visible. <laughs> I did Joe Rogan with the dick the size of a building. <laughs> and then I did, hold on, Woody Allen skydiving into a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Hold on, and then I did. Woody Allen sitting on Roman Polanski's porch. <laughs> uh, Ellen DeGeneres picking out blue and white striped paper at Home Depot. Damn. It was so much fun for like an hour. I was. And then I did. I did a ton. I did Ellen. Oh, I did me. I did one of me and you. Whoa. And then you can, in Warhol. Mm -hmm. It was fun. It was fun. Hold on, I did so many with Ellen. El, El, like, Ellen DeGeneres is a human cesspool. <laughs> no, it was a human septic tank, and it just drew this, like, crazy silver wow. shit. It was nuts. Damn. Corey Feldman dancing on top of Michael Jackson. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you have these saved? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It was so much fun. I was having like a blast. I was like, this is it.
This is my career. Here we go. Uh, watch me take off out of this fucking this place. It was so fucking fun, man. That's mm. gonna be that. They, mark my word, that is gonna be the next. I think it's fun. Mm. It should be done at parties. Mm -hmm. But I think like in two years it'll be like a fun. It'll probably run its course as like a. Uh, it's gonna be annoying. A interview. talking point. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What else we got in our links, Joey? I've already done my anti AI rant. Re reasons why. Reasons why this is totally yeah. interesting, but the art that it the, the art that it's replacing is um, the illust the, the art that illustrators do is garbage anyway. They shouldn't have jobs. What's uh? Do you think that the creator of the Mustang electric car and the um the Honda Insight? Do you think that the Honda Insight design was so bad? What a lot of people don't know is that Honda is the largest engine manufacturer in the world. The gasoline engine is the, the quantity. The largest producer is Honda. Mm -hmm. More than Toyota and Ford anyway. Mm -hmm. They don't know that because they make small engines. Mm -hmm. Right? Generators and dirt bikes. And yeah, weed whackers, yeah. four wheelers, you know, et cetera. Small mm -hmm. engine. Yeah, exactly. Right back up. Boats. Do you think that the, the, the CEO was like, make it look ugly? <laughs> Maybe they won't want it if it looks ugly. And they like... Mm -hmm. Try to, go, but the Honda Insight is so bad looking. Mm -hmm. You'd have to think it would be like a, a joke. Like who was pay? Who were we saying was paid for that you wouldn't believe me that was paid? Oh, uh, Heather McDonald <laughs> slamming yeah, into yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah. Like this is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like the Honda. In, I don't know which one. The older that one, one. The green. That green one's the one. I actually don't mind that design though. Oh. Although it does. <laughs> it's <laughs> so bad. It's like comical. Dinky. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm a weenie. <laughs> I like the, this right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's so fast, it's going away. Going <clears throat> right away from a date and with someone who loves you. <laughs> going away from people actually liking or caring about you. Mm -hmm. Look at, whoosh, bye, real friends. <laughs> See you later, sex. <laughs> Organic sex over genuine lust from your partner. Mm. It's gone now with your purchase. <laughs> But if like you know Nakamoto, you know Honda, mm -hmm. if Hitori Honda, like st like you, this is a lot. Like what it, it, before this starts? Celebrities talking like this. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is go so? I heard this is something I read. I read that Jim Carrey overtook Martin Scorsese as an, a dark overlord in um in like the in like the Baphomet blood blood stuff of L A. Mm -hmm. And L A, New York, and Texas all have their own. Mm -hmm. Jim Carrey took over, and who was New York? Blue. It's like obvious people. It's like it's kind of like that's where it like threw me off a little bit. But I was like, no. But Jim Carrey became like a high priest, <laughs> and like, but, but like, I say that, and that sounds fucking mm. nuts. I get it. That sounds like bullshit stuff. Then, t nope, no problem. Let's just go through life like just the TV is the TV, and the movies are the movies. Roll it, Joe. <laughs> this is the guy from Empire. You gotta walk away for a while or forever? For good. I'm, I'm, I mean, everyone keeps trying to tell me, don't say it's forever. But I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so that people can pretend to watch and enjoy what I'm doing when I've made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that, you know, Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue, you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? To that, that's a big remark. Yeah. What, what, what do you intend to, to do? Well, let me put it this way. All energy in the universe is expressed in motion. All motion is expressed in waves. All waves are curved. So where does the straight lines come from to make the platonic solids? There are no straight lines. So when I took the flower of life and opened it properly, I found a whole new wave conjugations that expose the in-between spaces. That's, it's the thing that holds us all together. What do you think about that? I think it's just crazy person gibberish. You think it's like a like a coke addled yeah L A guy that thinks he's yeah. smart and being corny. Yeah, and I think it's just uh, it's like uh, you know the black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, it's just he's got that kind of the the black guy with like light colored eyes. That's just something there. Uh no, he opened up the flower. 
Yeah, he did. But <laughs> what did you like? Were you using like pliers? <laughs> now, Terrence Howard from movies from Empire on Fox. Um, you were talking about gravity earlier. Go on. What the fuck is that all about, bro? I think it's just that that type of person they they develop. You can tell from his face. The black people light colored eyes. Something happens. What they get fucked by horny just, guys? No, no, no. It's just it's just like um. It's just the type of guy, man.